Find thousands of local jobs right at your fingertips at Kelloland Employment. Search, research area employers, even create job email alerts. Your job search just got easier with Kelloland Employment at Kelloland.com. The fight against COVID-19 in South Dakota requires everyone working together in common cause. This morning, we'll take you inside the state's emergency operations center to see how several agencies are focused on a single mission of keeping people safe. Plus, what Kelloland air travelers are doing to protect themselves and others flying in and out of the state. Good morning, this is Kelloland on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your Sunday. We'll get to our top story in a moment, but first, let's check in with meteorologist Adam Root in the Storm Center. Good morning, Adam. Good morning, Perry, and good morning to you all. After everything that we had to go through yesterday, this is going to be a really nice change of pace. A beautiful start to the day in Sioux Falls and really throughout the entirety of Kelloland for that matter. If you have the chance to get outside, I recommend you do so, but if you are in eastern parts of Kelloland, it is going to be a little bit breezy through the rest of the morning and into the afternoon. Thankfully, no rain to talk about today. Just some leftover moisture from last night coming up on the precip outlook. But as we go into Monday and Tuesday, we start to reintroduce the chance for at least a little bit of rain. Not too much. Generally a tenth to a quarter of an inch of rainfall between roughly now and Wednesday morning. So far from a soaker, far from a washout. But you will want to keep that in mind if you have any outdoor plans over the next about 48 to 72 hours. But if you have any outdoor plans today, you are good to go. Mid 50s East River with a bit of a breeze at first, but if you're along or west of the Missouri River, it is going to be a beautiful, seasonably warm day with temperatures gradually climbing into the 60s. A little more on the rest of your seven day forecast coming up. All right, thank you very much, Adam. Well, South Dakota has seen another jump in COVID 19 cases over the weekend. The Department of Health released new numbers Saturday showing 68 positive cases. That's an increase of 10 positive cases from Friday. There have been more than 2,500 negative test results. 26 patients who tested positive have recovered. South Dakota's Emergency Operations Center has been open since February in response to COVID-19. The EOC is a way for state agencies to coordinate more efficiently. Responding to statewide emergencies is nothing new for the people here. In the past, the Emergency Operations Center has been mobilized during flooding and severe weather. Uh, we do have uh, extensive planning that we've done for pandemic. I don't think anyone has truly uh, understood what was coming, um, but we've done a lot of planning to include um, yearly planning with the Department of Health. So it's not unexpected, um, maybe to this level a little bit, but we have definitely planned for it and are ready. The EEOC is open seven days a week from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., but the work continues after hours as well. The practice of social distancing becomes more of a challenge for people who still have to travel during the COVID-19 pandemic. Sioux Falls Regional Airport hasn't been as busy during the outbreak, but Saturday there were still air travelers heading out and coming home. They're doing what they can to stay healthy during their flights. Uh, you can't be too uh, safe as far as I'm concerned. And if you have respect for yourself, you'll have respect for others and try to keep them germ free. And uh, it's all about being cleanly uh, in your travels away from home. Airlines are doing their part by spreading out the seating of passengers inside their planes. Valiant Vineyards Winery and Distillery in Vermilion, like many other businesses, has been impacted by COVID-19, but it's using its distillery to combat the virus. The federal government issued the distillery a temporary license to make sanitary wipes and hand sanitizer. The last 10 days, the plant has been doing its part in making those products available to the public. It's not in the marketplace. You can't seem to get it anymore. It's uh, so much in demand, and it's apparently going to other places uh, because um, you can't find it on the shelves. And that's why we're doing it, just trying to help. Customers interested in purchasing the products can order them by emailing Valiant Vineyards. Adam? Well, as you head out the door today, well, we'll have more sunshine in place. A little bit of cloud cover of the high-level variety in the northeast part of Kelloland, but 
Really, that's going to be just about it today. The only other fly in the ointment to talk about is going to be out west. We could see an isolated shower or two in the middle part of the afternoon. But beyond that, it's a great day to get outside if you have the chance to do so as we gradually climb into the 50s for high temperatures and that wind also calms down. So here we go through future cast and you can see that northerly flow East River still staying in place through the early part of the afternoon, not to mention those few isolated showers out toward Rapid City and Custer. But that's really going to be the only blemish to an otherwise great day today. Even much of Monday is looking good before those showers start to build in overnight into Tuesday. And once we hit the middle of the week, that's when we have the first of a couple of opportunities for rainfall and even some snow in a couple of areas that we'll need to monitor as April starts off a little bit on the unsettled side and then we gradually cool down headed toward the end of the week. But today, a beautiful day to get outside. A little breezy though towards southeastern Kelloland with mid to upper 50s and that north by northwesterly breeze still very much in place. Overnight low temperatures falling into the 20s, at least in eastern parts of Kelloland. Uh, the further west you go, 35 in Pier 33 toward Rapid City. And if you like today, you'll love tomorrow as we have warmer temperatures and not as much of a breeze in place as well. We climb into the low to mid 60s for high temperatures, well above average for this time of year. But don't get used to it. As we go through the rest of the seven day forecast, we do have a cool down on the way with those rain chances Tuesday through Thursday. By the weekend, we're talking about upper 40s returning, but thankfully, that should only be temporary. Well, thank you for joining us for Kelloland on the Go. You can get up to the minute developments right here on Kelloland.com. Have a great day.